Hey guys, Matt Bartschmeyer from Warrior Fitness and Health, and I coach busy people to create fitter and healthier lifestyles via my boot camps, my PT, and my nutrition consultations. Welcome to video number one, or part one, of a five part series called the Routine Reset Series. So, this is taken from my habit seminar, or creating better habits seminar, that I usually teach live to large groups once a year of maybe 50, 60, 70 people plus. So I do this event once a year. It always sells out within a week. It's for people that want to create better habits and routines. It's for people that want to replace old habits and routines. And it's for people that have a change in circumstances, but they want to stay on track with things like exercise, nutrition, water and sleep and all that sort of stuff. Now, as I filmed this, we've kind of just come out of lockdown. People are kind of going back to work. Children are going back to school. People that was once at home isolating with family and self-schooling have now gone back to work and kids have gone back to work. And they're finding that exercise, nutrition and habits have all gone a little bit weird because we got into one set of habits during lockdown and now we're expected to start another set of habits. So this is part one of how to reset your routine. So it's whether you're coming out of lockdown, it's whether you want new habits, it's whether you want new routines. So part number one, I want you to start small. Whatever habit or routine you're trying to create, I want you to start super small. I want it to be so small that if you didn't do it, it's actually a little bit embarrassing. So let me give you some examples. Let's say, for example, you want to exercise three times a week for 45 minutes and you're struggling to do that. I want you to start off by exercising three times a week for 10 minutes. So that may be a two minute warm up or two Tabata drills or 10 minutes of whatever. I want you to do start off by three 10 minute exercise sessions to build up to three 45s. Let's say, for example, you want to eat more of your five a day. You want five veg or five fruit or whatever. I want you to start off with one. One apple a day. One piece of vegetable per day or one serving of vegetable per day. Let's say, for example, you want to drink two litres of water a day. I want you to just start by one small glass first thing in the morning before tea and coffee. So do you see where we're going with this? We're starting off super small that if you can't even do three lots of 10 minute exercise, you can't even drink a small glass of water, you couldn't even have one apple, one piece of fruit or one serving of veg, and you actually told somebody that, it would actually be quite embarrassing. Let me be clear with step one. It's not what you do, it's about making space in your day for your new routine. So you're slotting in this small glass of water this one of your five a day or your 10 minute exercise. It's not about the exercise, the fruit or the water. It's about actually slotting it in regular and saying to the mind, this is now what I do either every day or three times a week or whatever. So again, summary, I want you to start small. I want you to break down your goal to its simplest form. I want you to start super small that if you didn't do it, it was embarrassing. Um, and I want you to do that knowing it's not what you do, it's about you just making time in your busy schedule to actually do it. That's it. Part number one done of the routine reset. Get ready for part number two. It's following tomorrow or maybe you're watching these at a different time. But it's part one of five. Hope you found this helpful. You know what to do, like and share it if you do, tag somebody into it. If you'd like to know any more about my boot camps, my PT, my nutrition, Send me a DM, look at my website, www.personaltrainertamworth.com. I'll help you in any way I can. Look forward to seeing you in part two. Hey guys, Matt Bartschmeyer from Warrior Fitness and Health, and I'll coach busy people to create fitter and healthier lifestyles via my boot camps, my PT, my nutrition consultations. Welcome, part number two, video number two of my five part routine reset series. We know what this is about. It's taken from my one habit, one hour habit seminar that uh, I do once a year to big numbers and it always sells out dead quick. It's for people that want new habits and routines or want to replace old habits and routines or have recently had a change in circumstances but they need to keep certain things on track 
maybe nutrition and water and sleep and food because these are really important while they're going through change in circumstances. So part number two is all about your new habit or routine or ritual. You need to marry it or bolt it to something that happens every single day. So I'm going to carry on with the examples from part one. If you haven't seen that, go to my self-improvement album or YouTube channel, find it, look at part one, you know what I'm talking about. So in part one, we spoke about starting small. So we spoke about exercise, maybe a 10 minute exercise session. We spoke about one of your five a day, maybe one serving of fruit, one piece of fruit. We spoke about two litres of water, you break it down to one glass. So let's carry on with that example. We need to marry it to something that happens every day. So our 10 minute exercise, maybe we marry it or bolt it to when the alarm goes off in the morning. Maybe when the alarm goes off, that equals our 10 minute exercise session. Maybe we put clothes, trainers, gym kit in our car and when we finish work and we see that gym kit sitting there on the passenger seat, maybe we drive straight to the gym or outdoor exercise or whatever. You do a 10 minute session before you come home. Something like, do you see where I'm going with this? You're one of your five a day. Maybe your one serving of fruit is directly after your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, whenever you eat. You go, after breakfast, I always have an apple. After lunch, I always have an apple or whatever fruit you choose. Or your one serving of vegetables needs to be in one of them. So you might go, every time I have tea, I'm having at least one vegetable. Carrying on with the water theme. One glass of water first thing in the morning before tea and coffee. When I click the kettle on for my tea or coffee, I drink my small glass of water before I move away to toilet, brush my teeth, shower, make the coffee, make the tea, whatever. Do you see where I'm going? So quick summary, part two, five part series. Part number one, you're gonna make it so small that's embarrassing if you don't do it. Part number two is that small tiny bit that's so embarrassing that if you don't do it, you actually, gonna really kick yourself. You're gonna marry that or bolt it to something you do every day. So when I do this, I now do that. When I do this, I now do that. When I do this, I now do that. With me so far, get ready for part three. If you'd like to know any more about how I can assist you getting forward towards your goals, via boot camps, PT or nutrition, you know what to do, DM me, have a look at my social media, go to my website, www.personaltrainertamworth.com. If you like this, share it, like it, tag someone in, send it out, it's all free content, just trying to help people come fitter and healthier. See you on part three. Hey guys, Matt Bartschmere from Warrior Fitness and Health, and it's part three of the five part routine reset series. You know what we're doing here? I'm doing short video series taken for my one hour habit seminar that always sells out when I do it once a year to big people around the Tamworth area. Loads of people come, books straight away. This is for people that want to create new habits, routines and rituals. This is for people that want to replace old habits, routines and rituals. This is for people that have had a rapid change in circumstance, maybe new working hours, new job, new this and that and the other, new child in their life. And it's really important that they maintain key aspects of their health and fitness, like um, exercise, food, water, sleep, all that sort of stuff. It's part three. If you didn't see parts one and two, go to my social media, go and find my self-improvement album. Have a look there, have a look at my YouTube channel. If not, DM me, I'll send them on to you. Part number three. So we started small. We've bolted and we've married it to something else. If you don't know what that means, you need to go and watch parts one and two. Part three, we need to apply the law of 66-2. 66-2, this is science, this isn't me. So habits and routines and behaviours become automatic around about day 66. Long time, couple of months, which is why we need to keep working at it. So I want you to do your small habit that you've bolted or married to something else continuously for 66 days because once you've got to that point it's easier to carry on than it is to stop unless you actually choose to stop because that habit no longer serves you so i want you to carry on for 66 days so that's the rule of 66 the rule of two never miss twice so if you've planned to have a small glass of water every single day if you miss a day the next day you've got to pull out all the stops to make sure it happens on that day 
because you can't have two days back to back. And I'm going to tell you science to be honest in a minute. But if you've planned in that water and you missed it yesterday, it's more important than ever it happens today. So you might need to put a note under the kettle. You might need to set a reminder on the phone. You might need to put a post-it on the wall. You might need to set your partner to remind you, whatever it is. But don't miss twice. <coughs> Here's the thing. If you miss once, no problem. You can start again when you're on your 66 day journey. If you miss twice, it is now 80% harder to restart again because you've started a new chain of events. So if you've done three, four, five days and continuous building a new habit, and then you miss two days, your brain starts going, oh, do I carry on with that or do we carry on with this stop? And we have a bit of cognitive dissonance there. So I want you to never miss twice. Here's how I get my life coaching clients around this. I create a simple habit tracker sheet. Looks like that. Don't know if you can see it, but it says there, start small, marry 662. You've got week commencing, you've got days of the week, you've got 66 squares here. So every time you do your new behavior, you put a great big tick, 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 tick. Ideally, you want this whole grid, series of ticks. If you miss a day, fess up, be honest with yourself, put a cross. Don't ever have two crosses back to back because it now becomes harder to carry on again. So, quick summary, quick, 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 quick summary. Start small, so small, it's embarrassing if you don't do it. Marry or bolt it to something you do every single day. Track it for 66 days, try never to miss twice. Part three of five part series, job done, tick. If you wanna know any more about my work, how PT, boot camps, nutrition can help you, go to my social media, go to my website, www.personaltrainertamworth.com or send me a DM. If you find this video series useful, like it, share it, tag somebody in. It's free content, just trying to make people super healthy. Love your loads. I will see you part four. Hey guys, Matt Bartschmeer from Warrior Fitness and Health. It's part four of the five part series, new routine reset series. You know what we're doing here? Quick video series to help get you new habits, new routines, new rituals. Via changes that you may be going through, but you want a key load of habits like nutrition, health and fitness to stay put while you're developing a new routine. You may be developing new routines from scratch or you may want to replace old routines, rituals and habits because they no longer serve you. You know we've done parts one, two and three. If you haven't seen it, go and find them. Go to my self-improvement album. Go to my YouTube channel. DM me. I will send you links. We'll get through this. Part number four. So... We've started small, we've married it, we've bolted it, we've applied 66-2. Number four, we need to get accountable. We've got to have an accountability buddy, an accountability partner or accountability group. What do I mean by this? So I'm going to start a new habit of exercising three times a week for 10 minutes a day. I now need to tell somebody who's going to hold me accountable. So it might be my wife, my partner, a relative my best friend, an online group like Warrior Online Boot Camps. It's going to be an accountability group where you say to people, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm working on, I ain't going to let me down because I know you lot are watching. You need to be accountable. Put it on social media. Tell a friend, tell a partner, tell a relative. Their, their job is to keep regular tabs on you. So maybe every day when you do your routine, you might send them a text or you might put a social media post on so people know that you've done what you need to do. You may get together with your accountability buddy, with your tracking sheet. Don't know what this is, go and see video number three. You may get together with your mate or your partner or your accountability buddy once a week, show me tracking sheet. You can talk about successes, failures, what went well, what didn't go well. Accountability is probably the most important part of this process. You need to tell someone so you're accountable to them. And I'm going to give you a bonus tip now. I'm going to give you an absolute bonus tip. Why don't you and your accountability buddy or you and your accountability group set up a negative consequence if you fail twice or you get to the end of 66 days and you didn't do very well we have it? How about you have a negative consequence? How about you agree to take your accountability buddy for a meal and it doesn't cost them anything? How about you agree to maybe wash their car 10 times. How about you agree to do something that you actually actually hate with them watching so they can have a good laugh at you? Do you see where I'm going with this? 
you've got an accountability buddy to keep you motivated through the process, but you also go in as a negative consequence. If I don't quite keep up my end of the bargain, I'm going to do something like this. That's a bonus tip. You don't really need that one. Let's do a summary. Step number one, you're going to start small. It's going to be so small, it's embarrassing if you can't do it. Step number two, you're going to marry it to something else that you do every day. Step number three, you're going to do it for 66 days, but you're not going to allow yourself to miss twice, back to back. You can miss various singles because that doesn't have an impact on the process, but you're going to try not to miss twice, back to back. You're going to have an accountability buddy where you're going to have a check-in daily or social media or accountability group or a fitness group or whatever it is where you're going to say to the world, this is what I'm doing. Keep your army. Step four of the five-step process, job done. If you missed any of your previous videos, go and find them. Have a look. If you can't find them, DM me. I'll send them you. If you want to know how boot camps, PT, nutrition can help you get fitter and healthier, have a look at my work. DM me, look at the kind of people I work with, or go to my website, www.personaltrainertamworth.com. If you find this useful, like it, share it, tag someone, pass it on. All free content, trying to get as many people fit and healthy as possible in the local area. Love you all loads. See you on video five. Hey guys, Matt Barch here from Warrior Fitness and Health, and I coach busy people to create fitter and healthier lifestyles via my boot camps, my PT, my nutritional consultations. You know it's part five. You know what we're doing. We're talking about routine resets. This is aimed at people that want to create new habits, routines and rituals. It's for people who want to replace old habits, routines and rituals. And it's more importantly about people that have perhaps had a change in circumstances, but they need to keep certain habits on track. So maybe exercise, food, sleep, all that, all that sort of stuff, rest and recovery. Because they might have recently gone back to work, they might have had to change in work, changing kids, changing lifestyle, but they need to keep certain things on track. We've done videos one to four. We've talked about starting small, marrying it, 662, accountability. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and find the old videos. If you can't find them, DM me. I'll send you links over YouTube or to my self-improvement album. It's video number five. If you've watched it so far, video number five. It's an important one, because we all like this, don't we? We all like a nice little pat on the back when we've done well. So part number five is give yourself mini rewards along the way and a big reward at the end of the 66 days. Simple, isn't it? But there is a catch. Weekly, fortnightly, or maybe monthly, if you and accountability buddy have decided you've done really well and you haven't missed twice and you're well on track with your brand new routine habit or ritual, you need to give yourself a little reward, a little pat on the back. But here's the catch. It can't conflict with your goal. Again, it can't conflict with your goal. Example, if you have set yourself a goal of exercising three times a week and you've done that for a month, you can't reward yourself by having a week off exercise. Haha, <laughs> no chance because that's going to mean you're going to miss twice back to back and we know that doesn't work. Let's say, for example, you're going to have uh, one of your five a day and you've worked really hard. Your reward can't be, I'm not having any veg this weekend, I'm having a weekend off. If you're trying to drink two litres of water and you start with a glass of water every morning and you're doing really well and you're building up and you're being consistent and you're doing your 66 too, your reward can't be, I'm having a dark water today, I'm going back to my two litres of Coke. You need to give yourself little rewards and uh, psychological pats on the back that actually don't conflict with your goal when you see it as a treat. So you might take your car for a valet for seven quid rather than cleaning it yourself. You might have a long bath with a glass of wine, candles, audiobook, movie. You might have a manicure or a pedicure. You might go and buy yourself some new leggings or whatever it is. It's got to be a reward where you go, I'm buying this because I've done so well at this and it doesn't conflict with my goal. Does that make sense? Right, so quick recap again. We're going to start small. So small it's embarrassing if you don't do it. We're going to marry or bolt it something we do every day. So every day when we do this, we do that. We're going to do it for 66 days. And we're going to try our best not to miss twice. And we're going to track it on some sheet that you invent like that, or a calendar or something. You're going to try and get through to 66 days because we know it's easier to carry on then than it is to quit. We're going to try not to have two misses back to back because we know it's psychologically harder to start again. We're going to have an accountability buddy, partner, friend or group where we say, this is what we're doing. I'm going to keep you in check. 
I'm going to tell you everything I'm doing. You're going to tell me off if I fail. So you're actually accountable to somebody else rather than hiding it to yourself where you can cheat and lie to yourself. And then as you're successing through your 66 days, you give yourself little mini rewards along the way. There we go. Good job. Or when you get to the 66, big one where you go, this is my reward for being really good at my 66 too and starting small and being accountable and marrying it and everything. But it doesn't conflict with my goal. There's the five part series. Now you're thinking, I know what you're thinking now. You spoke about exercising three times a week for 45 minutes and you've only got me doing 10 minutes. You spoke about five a day, but you've only got me doing one. You spoke about drinking two litres of water, but you've only got me having a little glass of water when I have my coffee in the morning. You're probably saying, we get to 66 days and then what happens? You then say, does this habit, routine, ritual, is it benefiting my life? Is it something I want to carry on? If you say yes, you go through the process again and then you make the small thing that you did a little bit bigger. So you might do three 25 minute exercise sessions. You may have two of your five a day. You may have a glass of water first thing in the morning and a glass when you brush your teeth at night or whatever it is, whatever you're gonna marry it to. So you assess whether the habit, routine or ritual serves you. You then decide, am I binning this off and trying a new habit or am I building this habit up to the next level? And that is how you create an awesome you. That's five part, That's part five of the five part series. If you missed the first four, go and find them, DM me, message me, I'll send them you. Yeah. If you would like to know how Bootcamps PT, my nutritional consultations can help you create a fitter and healthier version of you, Go and have a look at my work. Go and have a look at my content. Go and have a look at the people I work with. Go and have a look if you think I'm any good. Go and have a look at my website, www.personaltrainertamworth.com. Like this video, share it, tag someone. DM me. However I can serve you, I will do. I hope you've enjoyed the five parts to this series. Again, start small. Marry it. 66-2. Be accountable to somebody or group. Little rewards along the way. Boom. Better, healthier, fittier, you. Enjoy. Love your loads. See you soon.